right, so I want to do this video based on the feedback and comments I've been getting in 411 videos on what the real difference between an impact driver and an impact wrench is. In the future, I'm going to actually make a real video on uh, the fake Makita impact wrench. I, I just wanted to do this video because I want to show you guys the real difference between them. All right, so because I get a lot of hatred, a lot of bad comments saying that I, I'm not calling the tools the right and I'm so dumb, yada, yada, yada. All right, recently, I've been getting a lot of bad comments in the 12 volt screwdriver videos. All right, so like I, I got this, uh, the comments actually been, they weren't too bad. Uh, the comments actually been pretty uh, decent in the video I uploaded of this. I imported this from the UK. People thought that this was a, uh, an impact driver, all right? But this is a 12-volt screwdriver because they, th they saw the collet on there, so they thought it was an impact driver. And in other videos, I am told, called a, the biggest moron in the world for, call, for calling this DeWalt 12-volt extreme a screwdriver when they, they're telling me it's an impact driver. This is the impact driver. All right, so like there is a huge difference between these two. One has a hammer in there that hits the that hits the anvil to drive in whatever you're driving in, and this one is just the motor spinning. All right, so there's a huge difference between these two, and I'm going to show you guys the uh, throughout all these tools. I'm going to show you guys the the difference between them. All right, so first we are going to attack these two. All right, as you can see, quarter inch X collet. This is a 12 volt screwdriver, quarter inch, hex, quarter inch hex collet. This is an impact driver. All right, so here we go. Ready, go. All right, so this is the impact driver. All right, ready, go. All right, so for the people that called me a moron and saying that this is an impact driver, you're wrong. All right, so I'll give you guys a quick example. I did make a video of swapping these out. Now this to this one is the impact wrench DCF890, and this one is the uh, impact driver DCF887. All right, you could swap those anvils out and put the 3 8 inch anvil on here you have to take that off carefully like so and there is the hammer that takes that out then from the anvil just falls through which is very good we're going to put that in a safe spot on the magnet tray And there you go. We have successfully taken off one of the one of the anvils. Now, when it comes to the three eighths inch uh, the three eighths inch impact wrench, the anvil, it's there aren't any springs like the hex needs, so it's gonna be a lot easier to take out. Just comes off like that. There we go. Yeah, that's that's already. The hammer. All right, so and those are the anvils. Impact driver is a galvanized finish. The impact wrench has a shiny finish. Has a glossy finish to it, to it. So we we don't need this for that. There we go. You got to make sure you, all the wires are put back in properly. Got to get those two wires back in their spots. Alrighty, there you go. I turned the 3 8 inch impact wrench into a quarter inch hex uh, impact wrench. Here's the, X, uh, the XR impact driver impact wrench. 
Very good. So this is a complete conversion from the 3 8 inch impact wrench to a quarter inch impact wrench. Now if you do that, that does not make this an impact wrench. This would still be an impact driver. All right, the same thing with this. If you put a quarter inch hex collet on there, which is this right here, this does not turn into an impact driver. It's still an impact wrench. All right, so this is model number DCF890, uh, 3 8 inch anvil. Uh, this goes to zero to 2,800 RPM and zero to 3,200 impacts per minute. Now, if you compare that to the impact driver, this is 3,800 impacts per minute, which the impact driver and the impact wrench is more expensive. So the impact driver has 600 impacts per minute more than the impact wrench and the impact dr driver also has 450 more RPMs than the impact wrench is. So like I said but in the earlier video, this is slower, but it has more power to bust some nuts. This has the power to drive stuff in. Just show you the quick the quick difference. All right, so ready? Go. Yep, it's done. All right, so next we are gonna, I wanna use the same battery. We're only doing two screws, so we do not need to use a different battery. Oh, we'll do it right underneath it. Down speed three. All right, so ready, go. Up a little bit more. Time. All right, so now let's see which one has an easier time on taking that out. All right, ready? Go. Time. Now I guarantee you that the impact driver is going to beat it, but as you could hear the, you, if you heard the motor, the motor didn't really, it's loud, but the motor didn't work that hard. It doesn't, it, cause it's slower and it doesn't need to. This is going to work its butt off to get this out, but it's going to do it faster. Ready? Go. So when it comes to this, if we used a much harder task, the impact wrench would do it slower, but it would use less effort than the impact driver would. And that's the, that's the difference. I impact drivers are uh, faster than impact wrenches. All right, so it, it doesn't matter what the anvil is. The motor is what determines what the tool is. All right, for the Ryobi, I actually swapped these out. I already made a video of this, go check it out. And I kept them swapped. All right, so this is, go ahead, check it out. I have the 3 8 inch anvil on there. This is model number, I'm gonna show you guys. Check, uh, go to Home Depot's website and check this model number out. It is PSBID01CN. Go ahead, check that out. And there you go. I think, there we go. It's gotta get the gears to go right. There we go. Now the quarter inch collet is on the impact wrench. 
Now that both of them are successfully uh, swapped out, as you can see, quarter inch collet, has a speed setting now, variable trigger. This is an impact driver. I just put the 3 8 inch anvil on there. And this is variable trigger only. All right, this is the impact wrench. This one is not, uh, this one is not variable trigger only. This one has a speed selector. So Ryobi's HP system, uh, the new brushless HP tools, the impact driver is variable trigger only, and the impact wrench has a speed selector. I'll show you guys that right now. All right, there's a huge difference between all these tools. It is not the anvil. You could swap out any anvil you want as long as you can make the anvil fit. So I swapped these out. This is still an impact wrench, and this is still an impact driver. It's the motor that determines what the tool is, not the anvil. Same thing with Hilti. Same thing with Hilti, impact wrench, impact driver. This one will work less than this one would. The same thing with these two. Both of these are the same tool. This third market company put a quarter inch hex anvil on there instead of a half, instead of a half inch. But as you can see, the model is the exact same. I could actually put this half inch on this tool. It's easy. So I will be doing another video on this. Uh, I want to do a real video on it instead of just making fun of it because it's trying to copy Makita. Real companies only put like half inch and three eighths inch anvils on their impact wrenches. But sometimes companies or people swap that out with a different anvil. But these two motors are the same. It's the same design, the exact same design in every way. And so that means that they had to copy the motor for it to fit into the shell. Because if they redesigned the motor to fit into the shell, that would sink into their profits. So they copied the motor. So these two are the same tool, but they have different anvils. So that's pretty much it. If you found this video helpful and entertaining, please like this video and please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. And please subscribe to the channel. This is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.